Hi guys, this is Chuckstra Love back again for another fish video that's gonna blow your fucking mind. <laughs> anyway, my name's Chuckstra Love, and uh, in all honesty, I'm just a guy who likes to fish. This is the first year in 20 years, literally, that I've been fishing, and like all the people that you know like to fish, they you know, try to do all the things that they've been taught by the people before them and you know I'm just a guy who wants to catch fish you know bottom line I'm not worried about you know trying to you know pay homage to history or the way that things done things were done in the past but all I know is this even if you don't want to call it a catfish secret per se I'm telling you I'm catching some good fish with my secret bait aka chicken raw chicken on a hook treble hook well today i went fishing after what i did last night basically last night before i went to bed is i put some strawberry jello in with my chicken and let it sit overnight and soak in that all that goodness <clears throat> So my chicken was really, really bright pink. And I went fishing today on the Elkhorn River. Uh, I've been fishing there like once or twice. I think just once that I've actually been fishing there. And uh, I didn't have any luck. But I went today and I had some luck. Bad thing is, <laughs> I actually caught a six pound or a five pound 15 ounce technically flathead catfish today and then I put it on my stringer and tied my stringer to the the dock where I was fishing from the little cement dock and the fucking catfish literally broke my fucking stringer and swam away <laughs> I do have pictures of it on my phone luckily I did get some pictures of it but Unfortunately, it swam away, and I didn't get to keep it. Oh, well. I'm never using a stringer again. I don't care what, you know, I don't care what the situation is. I'm literally, as soon as I catch a fish from now on, I'm going to weigh it, measure it, take a picture of it, and then I'm going to skin it and chop its head off and all that. Well, not skin it, pardon me. Chop its head off and all that good stuff and clean it right there. Because I lost this five pound 15 ounce flathead catfish today because it busted through the stringer i do have pictures of it maybe we can see on my phone but i did take pictures of it on my phone but <clears throat> luckily i did catch another fish today so here's that one this is my catch for tonight this is a channel cat different from the one that i caught earlier the five pound 15 ounce flathead that got away and broke my fucking stringer but this is the one that didn't get away and as you see as you can maybe see this is a channel catfish and i'm going to get out the ruler here the tape measure and kind of show you i'm going to start right here where the end of the tail is and as you can see even with the head chopped off it's still 15 inches with me which means if it had a head probably 18 to 19 inches there you go. That's a good size fish there, folks. I don't know where you come from, but here in Nebraska, this is a good size fish, man. A good size catfish. I'm sure there's bigger out there. I've heard there's 30 pounders in Virginia and here and there. Well, this is still a good size fish by anybody's, you know, by anybody from Nebraska's standards. <laughs> like I said, that's a, you know, 18 to 19 inch <coughs> channel cat. And I'm actually going to try to show you the pictures on my phone so you can see, maybe. This is the one that's in the pan, the little jar, plastic dish, soaking in salt water right there that I just took pictures of. Right there, see? Silver color, that's the channel cat. <sighs> see? Alright, well here's the flathead. <clears throat> Much different, darker color. You can see it's pretty good size. There it is next to my rod. As you can see, it's probably about two feet 
maybe a little over, but it was wide. It was really wide. So as you can see, it's much darker color. That's why you take pictures before <laughs> they get away. But I do have pictures of it there on my phone. I know they're kind of hard to see, but as you can tell, it's a much darker color than the one that I've got in front of me. That's the same one that I got in front of me. Silver. This is much darker. That's a flathead catfish. And like I said, you can see just by my pole that's right next to it that it's about two feet long. Well, that's the one that got away, folks. I'm never using a stringer again. Very much upset, but I did catch a nice sized fish today, so it's hard to be too upset. But if I would have had that fish not break my fucking stringer and get away, this would have been the most beautiful day perhaps ever but <laughs> it was a great day of fishing today and like i said i've uh been to the elkhorn a couple of times and uh i thought i'd been there maybe once or twice but i think that one of the times that i went down there i actually didn't get a fish too much because i ended up getting caught up in the river because there was people down at the elkhorn river uh, a while back that were having problems even getting to the dock because the water levels had rose up so much. So I went down there with the intention of fishing and ended up having to get to help some people out of the river and then myself getting swept up in the river and having to get help to get out. So, uh, but yeah, that was the second time that I was there, but I didn't technically get to do any fishing. So I had fished there one time before and I didn't have any luck. Well, I finally had some luck there and I'm going to be going back, but there was my secret. I basically, uh, in, I'm trying to improve on my ideas you know the chicken works great well now I'm gonna try different things you know I'd seen people using garlic and stuff like that I may try that but I just know that you know the fish want something kind of bright colored and they like sweetness so I just use strawberry jello it gave the chicken a nice nice bright pink hue and a nice sweet smell and like I said, man, I snagged me two beautiful, good-sized catfish today down at the Elkhorn River. So I'm telling you, man, it works. You know, I don't know if it's the secret bait or, you know, like I said, man, I'm just trying to come up with an attention-getting, you know, video name. But it works, man, and you should give it a try. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.